for that. See, we are uh, starting the concepts from today onwards. As I told you, first we are discussing with JavaScript because JavaScript is very, very important to work with this React.js. Okay. Without knowledge and JavaScript, we can't work with React.js. That is the main thing. Clear, compulsory JavaScript knowledge is required. What it? Yes. As I told you, around uh, 20 days, 20 to 25 days, we are spending with JavaScript. I will discuss with you what is JavaScript, how to work with the events. Okay. Next one, how to use asynchronous programming JavaScript. Okay. Like that, all these concepts, all these concepts. So we are covering here. So this is very, very important for us to work with the React.js. Okay. Yes. Now JavaScript. JavaScript, React, Angular, all these technologies comes under with scripting, client side or server side. Hmm? Client side. JavaScript is the client side script. implemented in 1995 okay. as live script. So what is JavaScript? JavaScript is client script. So implemented in year 1995. It is implemented as live script. Okay. That's the first point. Second point. JavaScript belongs to Netscape Corporation. Yes. It belongs to Netscape Corporation. The Netscape Corporation implemented the JavaScript. Okay. So, original name of JavaScript is live script. Later, Sun Microsystem adopted this JavaScript and they are in live script. Sun Microsystem adopted this live script and they renamed as JavaScript. Okay. Yes. So, original name was live script only. Later, this changed as JavaScript when the Sun Microsystem adopted. Okay. Yes. So, in browsers, we have one engine, JavaScript V8 engine. This engine executes the JavaScript code. Okay. Every browser provides JavaScript engine to execute JavaScript code. It is clear. So Java V8 engine is available, JavaScript V8 version 8. In all browsers, this engine is available. So to run the JavaScript code. 
Okay. Now, JavaScript is default. Client said skip the outside. Any browser. So if you take Mozilla Firefox, Netscape Navigator, like that, different types of browsers we have. For every browser, this is a default client side script. One second. Yes. JavaScript, not only JavaScript. And react are case sensitive. So these technologies are case sensitive technologies. What JavaScript and React. So these both technologies are case sensitive technologies. That is the main thing. Okay. The boards cases. For example, if any function is created with uppercase, we must use the uppercase to call the function. If any function is lowercase, we must use lowercase to call that function. That's the concept of case sensed. Okay. Yes. Now, JavaScript, React, or loosely typed scripts. This two comes under loosely typed scripts. So what is the meaning of loosely typed script? Not supporting the data types. See, generally, in our programming, so we are using data types at the time of variable creations. So when we are creating the variables, that time we are providing the data types like number, string, boolean. So these type of data types we are providing. But here, we don't provide the data types. For example, in C language, if you take, if you want to create any variable to store a number, then we are creating like this int number, variable name is num or something, under like that we are using. Yes. But in JavaScript, no need to use this. Simply num is equal to 100, that is enough. It is clear. Yes. But if you observe in any website, reference websites, you can see where let, like that, these keywords are available. So, right now, don't think about what is where and what is let. We will discuss it later. Okay. So where let those are not data types, those comes under access specifies. So you, you can decide from which location you can access the variable. So in that point of we're using where and let. So that is the concept. Okay. So anyhow, loosely typed script, that concept you clear. 
what is Lucy type script? We are not providing the data types at the time of variables declarations. Is this clear? Yes. This concept comes under Lucy type scripts. Next one. JavaScript we added or dynamic type of scripts. Yes. So what the meaning of dynamic type of scripts? Yeah, based on the variable type Internally, it contains data types. Externally, we are not providing the data types, but internally, every variable contains one data type. Is it clear? Every variable internally contains a data type based on the value we assigned. So it comes under dynamic type of script. Okay. One second. For example, if I create a variable, okay, serial number, and if I store the value 100. See, you people, if you don't have any idea on variables, no worries. We'll discuss that concept separately. What is variable? Everything we'll discuss separately. Just here, try to understand. So, what is loosely type of script and what is dynamic type? Okay. So, in our uh, application development phase, we are using variables to store the values. That is the main thing. Yes, in the development phase, we are using variables to store the values. That is the concept. Now, serial number is equal to 100. I have given. Yes. Yeah. So now what is the data type of this variable? So 100 we assign, that's why it is number. Okay. Internally, this variable contains one data type, that is number. For example, if I use Scott, then what is its data type? It is string. Yes, its data type is string. Is it clear? Like that, this concept we are calling as dynamic type of script. Means based on the value, every variable internally contains one data type. So this concept we are calling as dynamic type of script. Yes. Is it clear? No. JavaScript, please. Interpreter script, but TypeScript, please. Compiler script. Here, one difference is there. So, JavaScript is interpreted script. And TypeScript is compiler script. What is interpreter script and what is compiler script? Yes. In interpreter point of view, line by line execution we have. Okay. Statements execute line by line. If any error is occurred, stop the execution there but it will not check the next lines. So that is interpreted script. Is it clear? Means for example, in your program, under lines code you have written, you have errors in line number four, line number 10, line number 20, like that many errors we have. 
So interpreter script will not display all errors and like that. That is the main thing. Yeah. Okay. But compiler is not like that. So compiler checks the all errors and displays all messages at a time. Means in programmer's point of it is very helpful for us. Because once you see the all address, you can rectify immediately. So one example I will show you in this point of view. So I'm creating a script file. So open edit plus. Okay, now here. Okay. New file I'm taking. My keyboard from the last two days giving issue. <sighs> now. <laughs> File, new file I'm creating here, yeah, okay. RS control N. Save this file on the desktop. Push.html. Okay. Now here. When x is equal to 100, when y is equal to 200. Something, uh, don't think about what is where and uh, everything. Just, uh, okay, I've taken two variables, x and y. And let x plus y. And let display the message box. Now, simple script I have written. What the name of this? First dot. Okay, HTML. That is the name of the script. All right, click. Yes. So, here. Right click. Open with. Now. One second. HTML desktop. So the first file. Uh, so just file name is other file is also there. Just I'm using first. We got the output 300 like this. Yes. So we got the output 300. Now in case I'm using like this error. Now, two errors are there. Refresh, right click and go to that, inspect. Okay. So in inspect, you can see the errors. There one option is available, that is nothing but console is the option which we have here. So now it displays one error message, unexpected. Okay, that error is coming. Now rectify that error. So, so I'm using var x. Save and refresh. Now we display the second error, right side if you observe. Alert is not defined like that. Second error it displays here. Okay, like that here, at that time it is not showing the all errors. Okay, so it is showing one error beginning. After that second error, like that it displays the errors based on the 
requirement. So first time we got the first error. Second time we got the second error. Is it clear? Yes. So that is uh, difficult for us, okay, to is identify the errors because as a programmer, if all errors it is placed at a time, then we can easily rectify those all errors at the time. But in this point of view, it shows only one error. After rectification, it is showing that next error like that. That is the main thing. Is it clear? So that is the issue what we are facing here. So due to this problem only, they introduced They introduced what? That is, okay, compiler they introduced here. What then? Compiler. Is it clear? Yes. In ReactJS, they provide the compiler because interpreter performance is slow, not that much convenient to the programmer. So that's why that is the reason they provided compiler. So this is the only difference what we have between this JavaScript and React. So Babel compiler is available for us. We are using this Babel compiler to work with that. Yes? Yeah. So I hope you're clear with this point, right? Next one, JavaScript we can place within the script tag. Okay. So using script tag. We can declare JavaScript. Yes. What the tag we are using here? Script tag. Yeah. So with the help of script tags, we are declaring the JavaScript in our application. Hmm? Yeah. Any doubts, any questions? Okay. Now, how to start the programming in JavaScript? Okay. How to work with these concepts? Those things we need to discuss. I hope you clear till now. So, what are the basic points we discussed? Those points we discussed till now. Okay. I hope you clear with these points. So remaining programming, we are starting now. So before that, any questions, any doubts? Uh, so yeah. Uh, can I ask one question? Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Uh, sir, actually, uh, like uh, further programming, uh, we will continue on the edit plus or like. Uh, no, no, no. So here we are using Visual Studio Code. Yes, this is Visual Studio Code. Okay, okay, okay understand. Understand. I, I will also explain you another editor that is this one, oh, IntelliJ. Okay, so both I will discuss. Okay, so okay. earlier days we are working with Visual Studio Code. Okay. No. Yes. So earlier days we are working with the uh, sorry edit plus okay up to four or five sessions after that I will explain with those video code. See programming is common okay there is providing more support for us okay like intelligence and uh, a direct terminals like that. Even you can develop applications with Notepad also. But that is very tough to write the program in Notepad and edit place, right? So that's why these editors are introduced. We can add the plugins. And edit place and Notepad, if we take programming point of view, so we need to write each and everything. But if you take IDEs like Visual Studio Code and all, so providing so suggestions and uh, if you write any statement error, immediately display the errors, color codes will change like that. Some support is there, okay? But program is common 
okay in any editor okay we will discuss with visual studio code and intel j okay but more work we are doing with visual studio code edit plus only initial classes okay because not yet discussed how to install the edit plus and all right that's the reason okay any other questions no doubts okay fine so this is the basic information about javascript so we need to start the programming in javascript okay as i told you it will take around 20 minimum 20 days okay maybe it extends two to three days okay once javascript is completed then we will start the react programming okay it is taking minimum 45 days okay that is the point of it and today I will switch up the session now because I got some issue with my keyboard. It is behaving in different ways. Okay. I'm struggling to write and something to work on this. Okay. Anyhow, today I will go to the okay, service center to work out on this. Tomorrow onwards, I will start the JavaScript programming. So just concepts we discussed today, theory, basic concepts, very basic concepts okay so if we have any more doubts then we will go through that otherwise we will stop the session now sir actually one more doubt uh, like uh, i want to know about like uh, what is the difference between like uh, uh, react.js and angular already in demo classes last two demo classes we had i told you those points okay so both are client-side scripts to implement the websites and uh, to write the logics, browser-related logics. Both are same. Yeah. Differences are, so React is supporting virtual DOM. Virtual DOM. But Angular is not supporting. Okay. And data binding concept, React is unidirectional data binding. Means one-way data binding. Angular supports one way and two way data bindings. But right now, what is data binding? That concept you should know, right? So yeah. then you understand. So that's why I will start these concepts that time again. I will discuss one by one. Next one React supports JSX format. Sorry, which format? JSX, JavaScript XML. Okay. But Angular is not supporting JavaScript XML. What is JavaScript XML? We can combine so HTML code inside the JavaScript. Okay. okay. So that is the meaning of JavaScript XML, JSX. Okay. okay. And, uh, next one, a uh, learning point of view. React is simple. Angular is uh, difficult to learn because we need to practice more packages, more functionalities. Okay. And React supports TypeScript and JavaScript both. So mainly we are working with JavaScript in industries. But Angular completely depending upon TypeScript. Okay. okay. So that's why if you are JavaScript programmer, so you can easily learn this React.js. Okay. You want to learn the Angular, you need to just uh, TypeScript. The TypeScript first, then you can work with this Angular. Yes. So, and in internal concepts point of view, single page application concepts point of view, okay, we have some differences here. Like that, internally, these are value points, okay? So, internally, functional things if you take here. So, navigation type, and I told you data binding. So, Angular supports both data bindings, React supports unidirectional. Like that, these are some more differences. So, to understand these differences, first you should know that concept. Okay. Yeah. So that's why when I start the concept, then I will tell you. So it is not supporting in Angular. And this problem we have in React.js. Okay. In yeah. this point of Angular is better. In this point of React is better. Like that. Okay. Okay, sir. Let's go those things. Any other questions? Okay. Then 
for today we will drop this call because of see my how it is behaving you know my cursor okay fine the next class i will discuss program i will start the programming with this okay see next class you can drop now thank you